Hey YouTubers, I'm Jonah, and today's DIY, how to clean your AC condenser coil. So it's summer now here in Ontario, and there's a lot of dandelion fuzz flying around and getting stuck in my AC unit, condenser coils. Wow, the rear looks really bad. Looks like it's clogged. So before we get started, I want to check the temperature in our house. It's currently 72 Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to check the temperature coming out from our vents. Looks like about 45.5 Fahrenheit. Now I'll shut off my thermostat and we'll go back outside. So notice the gray box. This is our outdoor pull out fuse. We pull out the fuse to shut power to the fan. Just simply pull out the fuse like so. And remember the position of the fuse when you install it back in. So, do not use a brush to clean the coils. Also, do not use a vacuum or shop vac to clean the coils. And do not use this either. Also, do not use a broom to clean the coils. So, the fins of the coils can damage easily. Because we need all that surface area to transfer the heat out and cool the inside of our house. So the only thing we really need is a hose and water. Just use water. There's a few different settings here. The shower setting is good. Don't use the jet. And definitely do not use a power washer. I like the flat setting the most because it covers more surface area. So start from the top and work your way downwards, therefore pushing all the debris easily. So I do this twice a year, usually in the springtime and in the summer. Therefore keeping your AC running efficiently. Notice I didn't use any soap or hard chemical cleaners. If you want to spend money on it, be my guest, but water works just fine. You can also call the professionals and they can open up the top of the AC and wash through the inside. But I've had my AC since 1997 and I've never had any issues washing it from the outside.
Well, the front looks pretty good to me. So what do you think? Now let's do the side. So like before, start from the top and push downwards. Now, this side looks good to me. But we still got one more side to go. Well, looks clean enough to me. What do you think? Okay then, let's put the fuse back. Just push until you hear that sound. Now put the thermostat back on and let's measure the temperature again. Wow, looks like we're able to bring it down to 41.4 Fahrenheit. Well, that's 4 degrees cooler. That's excellent. So, if you like this video and found it helpful, give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to hit that notification bell, so you'll always get my latest video. And as always, thanks for watching.